All right, let's get started. Thank you for joining, everyone. Thank you for watching. So this is the 26th of February, and this is on Friday. And this is a video, recorded video. This is not a live stream. So I hope you enjoy my analysis by Ichimoku on Euro JPY, which is uh, one of the trending market at the moment in the daily chart. So for those who are new to my channel, my name is K. Like a letter K, my name is K, and I am a Japanese uh, full-time forex trader in Tokyo, Japan. And I've been using Ichimoku as a main strategy for the last five years. And um, ever since I studied Ichimoku deeply by reading these original books, I became uh, profitable and stable. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy my analysis, Ichimoku analysis on Euro JPY. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer, this information is basically uh, based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your risk. So this video is recorded actually at uh, 5.37 a.m. in UTC time zone. So this is a bit early still. So this is in Asian session. In Japan, it's um, 2.38. 2:37 uh, p.m. So the market is still ranging, but um, so so far Euro JPY is trending on the daily chart, and that's why I would like I would like to talk about that one today. So I posted my analysis on Euro JPY yesterday. So let me uh, review this one first. Oh, by the way, this is my trading view account. So um, if you're uh, interested, you can follow me on this trading view. I upload my analysis every day. So Euro JPY bullish by Ichimoku was what I mentioned yesterday. And my analysis was like this. My I put the analysis over here as a Euro JP daily shows uptrend, bullish trend as below Ichimoku confirmations. Kumo Senko span A B up and Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou span above the candles. So Ichimoku is composed of five lines. Um, Senko span A, Senko span B, which is a Kumo. So let me show you here. Uh, we see the Kumo Senko span B is a lower part when it's up Kumo, and Senko span A is upper part when it's up Kumo here. And also Kijun Sen is a green one in my chart color setting. This is Kijun Sen, and Tenkan Sen is a blue one, and this is also uptrending. And Chikou span is a yellow line, yellow line, and this is 26 candles lagging. And this is above the candles, meaning that this is still bullish in its momentum. So my analysis was bullish yesterday. So that's what I mentioned over here. And also I mentioned the market is reaching to the previous high at 130.105 sorry 130.145 on 8th of November 2018 so um, yeah 130.105 was at uh, this blue line which is the previous high from the 8th of November 2018 and also this is something that I mentioned on yesterday's live stream as well but if you look at the Kumo it's very thin um, on the daily Kumo here, this is very thin. So when you see thin Kumo like this, you have to expect some, some kind of retracement at some point. And the retracement might happen at the previous high because this was a previous high level at 130.145. So that's also what I was expecting. And so it's safer to wait for the breakout and retest and look for buy chance afterwards. So Kumo thickness is very important. In this case, Kumo is very thin, so it might retrace backwards. Is also expected. So um, yeah, basically that's what I put over here on yesterday's um, analysis. So let's see what's happening right now. So here is the Euro JPY today. And yesterday, the market was resisted at this uh, 130.145, a bit below that level. If I can zoom in, 
a bit more like this the market was resisted at this level slightly below the level and now it's ranging it's consolidating with the doji candle forming at the moment so now we see the uh, the senko span b flat and senko span a is still moving up and kijun sen is still moving up too and tenkan sen is above moving up also and chiko span above the candles too so in ichimoku analysis on the daily chart this is still bullish but it might continue to go down it might continue to go down down to the tenkan sen and perhaps it might bounce this way so um for me this is not the good time for entry uh because it's ranging i mean uh this is consolidating market now and usually i check mid time frames which are 1 or 30 minute time frame and if 1 or 30 minute time frame doesn't show up trending then i won't take a trade so the daily chart is uh you know still up trending as per kumo and kijun sen tenkan sen chikou span so let's look at the one hour chart so here is one hour chart and we see that this is retracing backwards it's retracing backwards and also this is on reverse in the wave now it's on reverse in the wave and uh, there is tenkan kijun sen dead cross so tenkan sen kijun sen dead cross means that this is the end of the uptrend in this short midterm so after we see this confirmation this is not the good time to enter the market to buy and the price is in between kijun sen and kumo too so the market is showing its range and kumo flat and also uh, chikou span is touching the candles too so this in one hour chart it's flat ranging so this is not the good timing to look for buy chance so in this kind of condition i don't even look at the lower time frames because um, this is not the right timing to look for the buying edge so that it saves time to um to uh to uh to you know just use your time for other things so but because the daily chart is still showing up trending i ex still expect the market goes up in the long term so um the market has been retracing backwards on this end wave reversing wave but now it's been supported at this uh 128.87 level it's supported once and twice here so um if the market does not break the kumo then uh it might be in the range still and continuously in the range and it might go up sometime uh, today or next week and because this is a uh, euro jpy um, you can also um, look at the tokyo box breakout so let me show you the tokyo box right now so here is the tokyo box the yellow area is the tokyo session so um, now this is one hour chart and the Tokyo session is forming like this and if it breaks the Tokyo session high at this 129.52 area today then it might be continuously uptrend and might break above so if it breaks above the Tokyo box Tokyo session and if I see the retest and pushback then i will look at the lower time frame to look for buy chance that will be a scenario here but if it breaks down then i won't look for buy chance anymore because if it breaks down then it becomes a reversing wave price action reversing the wave and it might continue to go down and as a result we might see um, the head and shoulders and neckline break neckline will be 128.87 and then um, it might be downtrending continuously or into the range for, uh, for some more time so once it breaks 128.87 then not a good time to look for buy chance anymore so whether the market to breaks the Tokyo box today or not on this Euro JPY is um, the topic to watch for today so let's see um, if if it happens uh, towards the end of uh, a day today 
So yeah, coming back to the daily chart, um, once again, the Kumo is uh, flat. I mean, the Senko span B flat, but the uh, the Senko span A is up, Kijun Sen up, and Tenkan Sen is up, and the Chikou span above the candles. So this is too bullish on the daily chart. Unless the Kijun Sen goes flat, this is too bullish to me. So um, I still expect the market goes up, but let's say next Monday, if Kijun Sen goes flat, then I won't look for buy chance on this pair because it confirms me that it's consolidating, it's ranging on the daily chart now. And other thing that I want to mention is that uh, once it range, once it goes into the range um, today or uh, next week, then it might retrace backwards to this trend line. And the trend line I draw was here, the yellow line. It's been supported once, twice, and three times, four times. Um, it's been supported. So when it be uh, when it was bouncing a couple of times in the past, then uh, this trend line uh, can work. You know, tends to work better than simply taking like two points uh, for the lines. So. Because I see these four times of uh, support by this trend line, uh, when the next time the market goes backwards to the trend line, it might bounce and it goes up this way too. So that that's also a scenario for next week or today, if it happens. And once it breaks, um, I won't look for a buy chance anymore. And by then, um, the the Kijun Sen should be flat. So and also Kumo should be flat. So I won't look for a buy chance anyways so yeah better be on the trend better be on the trending market and always look for the trend in the market i take trades on these major pairs and on these major forex pairs um, the trend happens every week in the daily chart for our chart it happens every week the trends so um that's why i mainly uh, look for the trends on the daily chart or the 4-hour chart by Ichimoku and when it's not trending then I won't look at the market I just wait for the next trend to come next week and just follow the trend direction that's important and also another important thing is that the um, once I talk about the fish analogy so um, we're here to we're here to catch some trends and you never take the tail or the head of the fish so if you think about the market like this and if you think of the fish um, I would only get the body part so let's see if I can draw the fish like this on this uptrend if I can uh, draw it nicely like this one so let's imagine that this is a fish right? and this is a trending market and it's a fish so this is the beginning of the trend, which is the head, and the tail is the end of the trend. And what I want to try to say is that the uh, you don't want to take trades in this kind of ranging market. The head is the beginning of the trend, and this is the uh, the it. But the market is still in the range as per Ichimoku, so there is no uptrend. And also, by the end of that trend, uh, this is a tail, so this is this might be retraced backwards. So when there is a potential reversal by Ichimoku, um, you don't want to be in the market because it might reverse. And if you keep tra trading like in these tails or the heads of the fish, um, you might lose over time. You might have losses over time. You get stop losses. So that's why I recommend everyone to take trades on the body part. Well, in this case, the body part is where the trend started, which was, I think, somewhere over here. When the Kijun Sen goes up and Kumo goes up, that was exactly when the trend started. So that's when, when you start to look for the buy chance. Until then, it was ranging. It was ranging because the Kijun Sen was flat and the Kumo was flat too. So it was ranging. So when it's ranging, no trade. 
I only look for the buy chance when it's uptrending or downtrending as per Ichimoku. So hopefully you get this idea and concept uh, by following my uh, live streams and videos like this because this is my main part of my strategy. So I hope you catch some trends today and if there's no trend then just stay away, relax and enjoy uh, with other things and come back to the chart on Monday. So I will see you on the next video live stream. So until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane, thank you. Matane means see you in Japanese. So I say matane everyone. <laughs>